click start and then type OOBE then press enter click add features click net framework 3.5.1 features and click add required rules services after that click next introduction to web server IIS will appear click next click common HTTP features performance management tools IIS management scripts and tools proceed to next click install then close click start and type OOBE click add rules next and check active directory domain services then next next install then close go to start and type dc promo then press enter click next next click create a new domain in a new forest then next type your new domain forest example putak.dm.com this time click forest functional level and choose Windows Server 2008 R2 and tick Next. Next, tick Yes. Then computer will use an IP address automatically. And tick Yes. This time, tick Next, then type your password, then Next. Next, don't forget to check Reboot on Completion. Then, it will start automatically to apply the charges. Type the password to log in. Tick Open Network and Sharing Center. Click Local Area Connection. Click Properties and check TCP slash PV6. And double click TCP slash PV4. Tick Use the following IP address. Then assign IP address to both IP address and preferred DNS Ooh. server. Then tick Subnet Mask, click OK, and close. Go to Add Rules, then Next, tick DHCP, and tick Next, Next, Next. Tick Validate, then Next, Next. Tick Add Scope, then type your scope name. Type the starting IP address and the ending IP address. Tick OK. Click Next, click Disable DHCP V6, and click Next. Click Install, and then Close. Click Start, then Administrative Tools, and Active Directory Users and Computers. Tick Positive Sign of your domain, putat.deped.gov, then Tick Users, and in the white space, right click, select new, then user. Type your username, example, put at user on both first name and user login, and click next. Type your password, then uncheck. User must change password, and next log on. Tick user cannot change password and password never expires next then finish right click the user you created then select properties and tick member of tick add then type add click check names tick administrator then press ok click apply then ok this time go to the client pc tick open network and sharing center and click local area connection tick properties uncheck tcp slash pv6 and double click tcp slash pv4 and click ok tick use the following ip address then Assign an IP address to both IP address and preferred DNS server. Then click 
Subnet mask. Tick OK. Then close. Click start and type CMD. Press enter. Type IP config. Then press enter. Click start. Then right click computer and choose properties. Click change settings. Click change. This time, type the domain that you made in the server. Example, utat.deped.gov and press OK. Afterwards, you must type the user that you created in the server as well as the password. Click OK. Press OK. Close. Then the computer will restart automatically to apply the changes. Click other user, type your username as well as the password and press enter. Click start button and tick remote desktop connection. Type the IP address of your server and tick connect. Type the password OK. Then your client computer will have the same desktop with the server. This time, go back to the server computer and make a folder. Click start. Double tick the computer. Choose what drives do you want to store your folder. Create a new folder. The name of your folder is something put up redirection. After just press enter. Afterwards, you are going to share your folder. Just right click the folder and choose properties. Click advanced sharing. Tick share this folder. Then tick permissions. And then tick all the box. Tick apply. And then OK. Tick apply and OK. Click share. Then choose everyone and add. Then share. Click done and close. Tick start administrative tools. Active directory users and computers. Right tick your new domain for us. Choose new and organization. Type your OU sample. Put up OU and press OK. Tick start administrative tools. Group policy management. Tick your forest example put up that that go. Tick domains and then find the OU. Right tick it. Tick GPO and then type your GPO. Example put up GPO then press OK. Tick start and then administrative tools. Active directory users and computers. Right tick your OU then choose new user. Type your user OU example. Put that user or you to both first name and user logon name. Then press next. This time, you're going to type your password and check user must change password at next logon. Then tick user cannot change password and password never expired. Next and then finish. After making your user or you, you must click the properties. Click member of. Then tick add. Type add. Tick check names. OK. Apply. OK. Tick start. Administrative tools. Group policy management. Find your GPO. Just double tick your OU so that you can see it. Right click your GPO then choose event. Double click the following. User configuration. Policies. Windows settings. Folder redirection. Then you must configure the desktop and documents. Right click and select properties. Configure it to basic redirect everyone's folders. Then at the root path, you're going to browse to see where your folder redirection is saved. Click apply. Yes. OK. Apply the same process to the documents. Go back to your client computer. Click start, then switch user. Tick other user. This time, you're going to log in as your user only. Go to the desktop. Right click, create a new folder and name it. Within the folder, 
right click and create a text document name it and double click to open it type your text then Control s to save go back to your server computer click start double click computer double click your new volume as well as your folder redirection you will see your user ou just double click to open double click desktop tick continue security tab continue click the administrators boot that administrators click replace owner on subcontainers and objects tick apply then ok and close the same process applies to the documents open desktop after you do that you will see the folder you created in your client computer double click it to open there you will see the text document you created in your client computer double click it to open